There was this thing happening that was called the Harmonic Convergence. This was 1987 and I was 25 years old. And I heard people were going to be waking up. And I think I thought at that moment that if there was a God, and now suddenly I was beginning to think maybe there was, or something you could call God, some force. I kept thinking, well, if there was one and you asked to be woken up, why wouldn't that happen? So I went up to the roof of the building that I lived in the night of this thing, the night before this thing, and I asked to be woken up. And in retrospect, I asked from a real place of innocence because I think I believed that it was possible that something could happen, and something did. It was an experience of energy moving through my body up from the very base of my being all the way up through the top of my head. And it sort of left me paralyzed and sort of swaying on this rooftop. And it lasted for quite some time. And for me, it was a palpable experience of something other, something beyond the ordinary and beyond what I could have predicted or would have chosen from myself. I channel, what I do is, I'm bringing the energy through in language and speaking it. I'm essentially taking dictation. And when I'm working with individuals, I may be taking dictation for them or tuning into them to hear what they have to say to me at a higher level of consciousness or vibration. Many people say, you know, a problem is not fixed at the level that the problem was created at. And my guides are lifting us well beyond that so that we can attend to ourselves and our world and our families. And they say, you know, those you will meet and those you may never meet to support a world in change. My guides say that humanity is at a time of reckoning. And they say that a reckoning is a facing of oneself and all of one's creations. And they say that what's been created in fear needs to be recreated in a higher way. And this is our opportunity to do so. Now that I've sort of said, you know, this is what it is, and this is what comes through me, all I can do is claim that truth for myself. And if other people want to have that experience of it, they're more than welcome to. You know, but I'm not a guru, and I'm not a spiritual teacher, and I don't really want to be. I'm the guy that shows up, often in spite of himself, for this work that is coming through with great insistence to be known and you know I'm not always the best student of the work that comes through me it's sort of like asking the radio to to judge the music that's coming through it my job is to be present for this and it's everybody else's job to decide what it means for them what I will say is that the books that come through me and in the workshops that I am present for that the guides come through and teach there is a remarkable energy that is known. So people are reading the books, and if you go to the reviews on Amazon, they're saying, you know, I'm reading the books and my body's, are, my body's vibrating. I'm reading the books and I'm seeing auras. I mean, this phenomena has been happening since the beginning and is growing, and the same thing happens in the work, and I'm happy for that, because I think if people can have their own experience of this, then they don't have to defer to me, because I really don't want them to. You don't become the Divine Self, the Divine Self becomes you because it's the truth of who and what you are and everything else is a wrong idea and a wrong idea that we've been perpetuating collectively for a very, very long time. Open to the possibility, you know, open to the willingness to find out maybe, maybe that how we've been instructed to see the world as only a small piece of the world and maybe isn't the best way. So yes, I hear say yes to what can be and that opens the door for everything else to follow.